I am Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Hey, so I've got a, a question from uh, a viewer. This is for Ida. Ida, this is especially for you. So listen up, okay? And thank you so much for asking the question. So Christopher Charles Cuomo, what's he thinking? That's what Ida wants to know about Chris Cuomo. First of all, who knew his name was CCC, Christopher Charles Cuomo? Well, he was born August 9th of 1970, okay? And uh, both his parents, both his parents are of Italian descent. His paternal grandparents were from Nocera Inferiore in Tremonti in the Campania region of southern Italy. His maternal grandparents were from Sicily. He studied at the Albany Academy, which is a um, private university preparatory school, and then Yale for the undergraduate degree, and then Fordham for his Juris Doctor, his JD. Um, he's a licensed attorney. And if you're like me and you thought, what is a JD? What kind of degree is that? I'm going to tell you. The Juris Doctor degree is also known as the Doctor of Jurisprudence, and it's a graduate entry professional degree in law. Um, it has the academic standing of a professional doctorate in contrast to a research doctorate in the United States. Um, it has the academic standing of a master's degree in Australia and the second entry baccalaureate degree in Canada. Hmm. So Chris was a correspondent for Fox News. Can you believe it? Fox News and also for Fox News, a political policy analyst. Who I, I didn't even know that. I didn't remember that. At ABC, Chris's uh, tip from a BMW owner led to a recall over 150 affected cars. Now, in March of this year, Cuomo announced that he cannot cover any issues regarding um, the sexual harassment allegations against his brother, Andrew Cuomo. Back in August of uh, 2019, however, Chris Cuomo threatened to throw a heckler down a flight of stairs at a bar with profanity-laced insults after the man called him Fredo. And in reference to the fictional character from the Godfather novel and films, and Cuomo told the man that the use of the name Fredo was tantamount to the N-word for Italian-Americans. So that's all I could find out about Christopher Cuomo. That's wiki. So I had the idea to use these tarot mucho, Ida, for this um, reading on Chris Cuomo. But once I started, it's just they weren't the right cards for that. So, got to put that aside for now. Maybe we can use it for clarifiers. But in fact, this seemed, I mean, the way I had to go. So this is the giant Rider Waite Tarot. I'm not sure why I got these. Maybe I was thinking I could use them for for props or something. They're just huge. I mean, you know, but once I got them, um, I mean, I like them a lot. And uh, the only reason I don't use them more is because they're so big. But that's crazy because every time I use these cards, I'm really glad I did. So I don't know. What's that telling us? That we should uh, not let appearances um you know completely guide our judgments it seems like that to me so anyway uh, here we go all right i'm gonna flip these things down i'm gonna shuffle them up and we're gonna see if we get some good information here about chris cuomo what is he feeling what is he thinking now, I mean, you've got to imagine the conflict there. I mean, he's got his own, if nothing else, he's got his own wife and children that are, will see exactly. I mean, some of us, we can harbor feelings about a thing and maybe not reveal it to the people close to us. Uh, but uh, this fellow is on national TV, so they're going to know if what he portrays, portrays on TV and aligns with who he is in real life so what are you thinking Chris Cuomo what are you 
thinking a lot of love between those brothers. A lot of love. Let's see if I can do a little bit of this. I don't think I'll be able, I'll be able to do much because these are just immense. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's fine. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to cut them and then uh, go to town with these cards. Okay. Yeah. So we want six cards right away, and then I'll get the other ten uh, on the back end of this. So, Chris Cuomo, what what's going on in your head right now, Chris Cuomo? One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're going to keep these off to the side somehow. I've forgotten how much room they take on this table. And uh, then the question is going to be, Ida wants to know, Chris Cuomo, what's going on for you right now? What's the signifier card? Well, the Knight of Wands, of course it is. The Knight of Wands is, um, this fella is ready to go into battle, okay? He's holding this horse back. The horse is as anxious to go as he is, it looks like. And as a matter of fact, if you can see the expression on this uh, knight's face, is a little trepidation there. But he's holding on to that wand, and it's... You know, a lot of action ready to sail out of there. The landscape is pretty barren. And so as a signifier for Chris Cuomo right now, this seems like I could see him as a knight on a horse ready to do something. Fire coming out of his head. Now the challenge to that <laughs> is strength. Of course it's strength. Any of us can just, uh, you know, explode with the, uh, the feelings that we have at the moment. But the strength is, is to know how to rein in all of that energy in, in, in the most serene way possible. And that really is uh, the, the greater good for everybody. So the challenge to Chris want to be a knight and get in there and do something is having the strength to tame that. The basis of this reading then is the hermit. And the hermit tells us that this is a time of introspection. This fella is really considering, you know, what's going to happen. This this light shows us that it's a an, a process of moving forward, um, but and not moving backward. I mean, in effect, moving in in fact, moving forward. And this hermit is has got a large, sturdy wand of experience uh, behind him in this just sea of passion in this uh, this sky uh, that we've shown here. Pamela Coleman Smith created some beautiful art in these cards. But yeah, so the, the basis of all this has always been having to make sure you look at what you're going to do before you do it because this is such a public family. Remember, his father was the governor of New York. You now his brother's the governor of New York. He's got this big, bright um, uh, existence where we all feel like we know what's going on in this life. But what's happened in the recent past to help us uh, figure out what's the meaning of this reading and it's you know there's always so much of this of course what else could it be a big um, handful of you know movement of fire of stuff going on just just falling off this limb so yeah the past the recent past anyway is uh, just a huge bunch of action coming your way and you're having to deal with it a smart way take your time but in the sky for all of this well okay it looks like maybe he's going to master it. This is celebrations. And again, I don't have any problem at all seeing this as Chris Cuomo on this uh, beautiful white horse, you know, going forth uh, in celebration and with all of these actions now in adulation of, of the victor. Yeah, that looks pretty good for Chris Cuomo. Good job so far. But then uh, the self. If you really narrow down on what's happening for Chris at this very moment. Oh, no, I've gotten ahead of myself in this reading. So this is going to be the near future. I'm so concerned about how much room these darn cards are taking on this desktop that uh, I can't think of anything else. So I'm sorry. So the uh, near uh, the, the outcome potentially of, of all of this that we've seen so so far. Remember, this is like a, a, a thirty thousand mile look down on the situation, and um, the likely outcome. Remember, this is what this is what you're shooting for in the sky. The likely outcome is having to maybe settle for something less than what you uh, wanted 
um, I think, is exactly what that is. So this will be a compromise, but then life is. But if we want to know really specifically, Chris Cuomo, what's going on for you right now, you're the star. You're the, not the star, but the sun. I mean, the, the sun is glaring down on you, just waiting to see uh, how you make a move in this situation. And um, I think we know how that's going to go. Then, but what environment is this? I mean, uh, you would think this is the environment, your spotlight on, on, on the national and, and um, world. Um, the environment is of having to move on out of troubled waters. That's pretty um, simple, actually. So in the environment, because if we're not moving forward, um, we're falling backwards. And this family uh, moves forward. And uh, so that's what's going on here, is all of this is in the environment of knowing, and that's some comfort, I would guess, that um, you're going to move on. The hopes and the fears, however, for this reading are, how are you going to balance all of this? Are you going to be able to balance it? I've said a few times, that when you see those jugglers on the street, they can do this. They can, they can do what they're doing, it seems to us, for a long time. But remember, we're walking by those street performers. In, in a few steps, we're gone, we're around the corner, and we don't know what's going on. And maybe that's when all this falls down, when he's out of the spotlight, when he's at home, uh, when he's in private, when he's having conversations with his brother, not with the governor of New York, not with an accused uh, sexual assault um, uh, not with someone who's teased him his whole life coming up and not with someone who's he's looked up to as a child before they became such huge uh, lights of their own but in front of us keeping it all up in the sky and then the um, final outcome most likely for all of this is well that's great the king of wands I mean look at the wands that have been in this uh, reading it's uh, amazing so yeah he's gonna come out the king of the actions that he has and uh, uh, taken uh, in this uh, in this situation. So for Chris Cuomo, I think it's all about family. It's about knowing that he's moved forth in some sort of a noble way, and it looks like he certainly will come out like that. So that's my reading for Chris Cuomo. I hope you liked it. That was pretty exciting, actually. I mean, to see this start out with Chris Cuomo coming in on a horse you know, to save the day, and then uh, showing us all the strength he can muster. Uh, shooting for the star, shooting to be the victor, and then coming out in the end as the king of wands. Uh, so I think this is going to be fine for Chris. I don't think we can say the same about his brother, but uh, there won't be any aspersions cast on Chris for his uh, handling of all this, I don't think. So that's what I've got. Well, my name is Mark. This is My Journey Through Tarot. Thank you so very, very, very much for watching this. And um, if, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It makes a difference. And uh, ciao for now.